A fierce house fire in Clarksville this weekend destroyed everything inside and it would have almost certainly killed two dogs who were frantically trying to escape. That's had it not been for at least two neighbors who went into the burning home. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston and I'm Carrie Sharp. Thank you for being with us. Now, those neighbors were checking to make sure that no one was inside, saving the dogs in the process. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with the two people being called heroes tonight. Off Superior Lane in Clarksville this weekend. Oh, it's the responders arriving first at a neighborhood house fire came not from the station miles away, but from next door and just across the street. Trey Bowling and Alex Wilkinson walked up on it. They're saying the house is on fire and we looked to our left, it's up in flames. And you know, it was just kind of, one of those things like you just react first, think later, and I just ran over barefoot, started trying to help. Hearing the yelps of two dogs inside, Trey and Alex said they knew they had to do something. We had a big uh, metal pike and we smashed out the window. Are you okay, baby? Yeah, I cut my hand. <gasps> How bad? Oh my God. We saw the two dogs and we went through the window, unlocked the door, opened the door, let the dogs out. And I think that's when everyone was like, OK, dogs are good. Let's make sure no one's inside sleeping. They went room to room, making sure in the smoke and flames. Luckily, no one else was home and the family dogs, Yaji and Draco, were OK. I'll do the same thing all other people do to me. If my house is burning down, you know, God forbid, and they know I have dogs, I want Alex kicking in my door, man. Like, I want my yeah. dogs out of there. And no I think problem. this, no this whole community just kind of has like a real, you know, like a real appeal to it. There's no word on what caused the fire, and insurance adjusters may very well call this a total loss. But try telling that to the family here who's gained a neighborhood that will always have their back. I think you should always at least try and help out. Always try. It's better to do something than nothing. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Great young men. We have information on a GoFundMe account that the family has set up in the wake of their house fire. You can find a link to that in this story on our website.